Yo what's good y'all, Kanji Bonum here, back at it with another video, and in today's video we're going over Gaming 72 against the Wizards, one of the worst losses of the year, I wouldn't consider it the worst, but probably just the most disappointing, but either way, let's get into it. Now first off, um, you know, as I always do, I always start off with the positive, but the only real positive I have about this game, to be honest, was that we just kept it close, you know. After that horrible start to the game, letting the Wizards go on a 15-goal run, you know, we kind of made a mini comeback late in the... Throughout the first quarter and then midway through the second quarter is whenever we made it really close. But still nonetheless, you know, at least it wasn't a complete blowout and you know, I can't believe I'm saying this because it's the Wizards, but you know, I, I'll take it, I'll take the bad with the good, you know. So, you know, enough of that, now let's get into the keys of our downfall. Now like I mentioned earlier, horrible start to the game, you know, you can see Billy uh, visibly frustrated by the lack of defense played in that first stretch of the game so you know just horrible on that side of the ball you know we we could really you can really tell that the team is really missing Patrick Williams intensity defensively man because you know at least like we had a, a pretty solid interior presence whenever Patrick Williams was around but now without him ever after the all-star break we have had one of the worst defenses after having one of the best defenses so you know shout out to P Will he's having he had his impact and you know I feel like we really disrespect him as a community now side tangent offside you know I think the biggest key to our downfall tonight was just that the Wizards played with Heart. You know, the Wizards haven't been bad all season, looking for their third third win in a row, first time for the entire season. You know, I think they came in with just more heart, more integrity, more like just wanting to win more. And that what haunted us. Like it seems at times that, you know, we we're just taking them lightly, you know, uh, depleted roster. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. The Wizards were really really depleted of their roster which makes this worse loss either worse you know they didn't have Kuzma, they didn't have um Danny they were missing a lot of players and ultimately we just lost to a G League team that's really what it is so you know and then I feel like a lot of people are saying this is the worst game of the year but honestly I don't believe so I think this is just more of so the most disappointing game of the season because we're at home. The Wizards currently have the worst record in the league, but and now and we're already having a two-game losing streak. So now we have a three-game losing streak, and all together, I feel like that what creates people to think that this was the worst loss of the year. When in actuality, like that Celtics loss to me still in early. And late November is still probably the worst. But, you know, oh, it is what it is. But I feel like this game exercised one thing, and that's the importance of Zach Levine. Because, because of the horrible execution we had down in the fourth, not scoring in five and a half minutes against one of the worst defenses in the league. Not, not even one of the worst, the G League. We lost to a G League team and we couldn't score five and a half minutes on that. You know, just horrible. And you know, Zach is one of the best. You can say all you want about, you know, his soft selection and all that. But when it comes down to the clutch, statistically, he hits those shots. He's big in those moments. So, you know, I feel like that narrative that we're a better team without Zach is just completely debunked with this game because it clearly shows that we need Zach in some certain instances. And you know, I get it. You know, you're you don't like whenever he's in his ISO and all that, but you know, we clearly need him to, in some cases, to lead this team and and help it with an offensive package. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's what I gotta say for this game. You know, horrible loss. You know, 
hopefully next game be better and yeah peace